Do you like knowing how a book is going to end by chapter two? If so, this book is for you. Welcome to Literary Disasters, where I read awful books so you don't have to. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and recommend awful books that you have read so that I can spare others your misery. Today I will be judging Italian Billionaire's Secret Love Child by Brittany Brook. This book is so boring, I'm going to be eating this whole bag of Thai Devil chips just to give it a little bit of spice. That's spicy. Tasty. They're actually really good. Yeah. Okay. I'm Think I'm gonna hate me. <laughs> the belly pepper on the chips flew down over here. Yeah, that's some good peppers right there. This is a whole chili pepper right there. Hi, <laughs> nervous. There's a big one. There's a big old piece of chili. I eat the chili. <laughs> Is my face red? Because I feel like my face is getting red. A little bit, actually. You can see it more on the camera than I can in real life. I hate you for this. Hey man, this is your own fault. You can hate me all you like. I don't know why I let you talk me into this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil. But look at how many chili peppers there are now. That's a lot of chili peppers. Oh, <laughs> uh, evil thing ever. It's a fast. This is mostly chili peppers now. Oh yeah, it is. You can another video. We should do those out. You want to sell this? This is the 52nd book that I've read this year and the fourth book that I'm reviewing for this channel. And I can say with some certainty that this is by far the worst book I've read this year. That's fucking hot. <laughs> While the writing in this book could have been worse. It also could have been much, much better. The biggest sins this author committed are that this book is just flat out boring and entirely too predictable. Man meets woman, man knocks up woman, man ghosts woman. Man and woman get set up on a blind date, they have sex again, man ghosts woman again. Then they get married and live happily ever after. Let's just end the review right here because there's no need to go through 110 pages when I just summed everything up in three sentences. <sighs> Throw in a few sex scenes in an awkward situation where he's pissed off at her for not telling him that she was pregnant and she is apologetic despite the fact that he blocked her and had his secretary kick her out when she tried to visit him at work. Then he is apologetic and she's pissed at him. I don't remember why. But they make up in just a couple short paragraphs, so everything's fine, somehow. The sex was really good, and apparently that's all you need for a long-term healthy relationship. <sighs> I hate you. I know. <laughs> Please read anything but this book. Something like Solace by Gail Carriger. While my total read time was under two hours, it took me weeks to finish this book because I just didn't care what happened next. I'd already figured it out. The more I read, the more the author confirmed that I had actually figured out the entire plot by chapter two. Now I'm going to go read some Michael Crichton or something to clear my head of this nonsense and maybe drink some milk. <laughs>